Listen in as five friends take turns weaving stories to the tabletop game of their choice. This is Five GMs in a Trench Coat. Hello everyone and welcome to Five Gyms in a Trench Coat. My name is Tanner. I'm going to be your GM for today. We're going to start on my left today. Hello, I'm Adam. I'm playing uh, Araceli and uh, Asasrena, and we're about to 1v8 some dragons, and uh, I don't want, I want no support. I think I can do it. You guys heard it. You guys heard of what you just said. Remember that today. That's unfortunately on record. Hi, I'm Kim, and I play both B and Frankie. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we die today, and if B's the only one left standing. So that's really great for me. And I'm Jesse, and I'm playing Tyus the Typhoon, and he's gonna be fine. And I'm Tanlin, Hello. Nice to see you again. I missed you. I'm playing Devon. I'm very scared. <laughs> yeah. I think that Tanlin's romance with the audience is the most consistent subplot we have on the it's show. It's true. I'm a big fan. Um, also, quick pause. Yeah, I was like, quick introduction of our our new our new guy. We have a new guy. Um, we have Emily. She's on audio. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I was like, we have a new guy? Who's There's the... a reason she's not on mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we last left off, you guys were raiding a prison to break Vargish out. Devon had just blown up the newly installed gas line in the prison. Things were going haywire, chaos, and then Asus Reina and Araceli were tackled by another Asus Reina breed dragon. So we are going to start in our mind's eye. Two people. There's a satyr and a guy, and they're talking, and they're both guards for the prison. They're talking along the top layer, right, where you guys would have seen before along the walls. Um, and they're chatting, and one of them says, have you gotten out of guard duty recently? Um, and the satyr responds, um, no, I haven't yet. I submitted my request to get some time off, but Jake, and then the satyr goes quiet, and... The guy in, there's a ring in her ears all of a sudden. She, there's light in front of her. She can't see anything. And then her vision slowly corrects. Fire in front of her. She looks down and there's fire on top of her too, but it's just burning her lightly. And then she looks to her right and her satyr friend is gone, but where he once was, was just flame. Hmm. She looks around, panicked, and sees as the walls are crumbling around her. Not entirely, but pieces of wall are crumbling around her. People are yelling things. They're still ringing in her ear. She can't hear anything. And then she looks to her left and sees flying forms approaching the wall. So. Mm. Are we the bad guys? Araceli. Sure. Yes. Asus Reina has separated herself from the other dragon temporarily. But it's oh, obvious that they're going to come back in. Uh -huh. Um as you guys are both trying to, like, um, maintain lift, right? Because mm -hmm. you guys both got thrown off balance. You guys are falling. Osirana corrects. And the uh, you see you're keeping your eye on the other dragon. Yeah. Um, they're doing the same. They're going to rear back for an attack. What are you going to do? Okay. Uh, so Adesla is like, <laughs> all right, I'm so fucking cool. Uh, and he gets up. Uh, and I think he's going to look at Frankie and be like, watch how fucking cool I am. And he's going to take out one of the vials that Jack gave him. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to tell Reyna to start flying towards, uh, to drop Frankie off pretty much. Okay. So uh, I'm giving Reyna the signal to full speed ahead past the other dragons. If any dragons get in our way to tear through them. Yeah. And just go straight to the prison to drop Frankie off. And then I'm standing up and I turn around and I'm going to clasp both of my hands together uh, and heat up the vial as much as I can and just, and just send it. Okay. Directly at the um, pilot, okay. uh, trying to cause it to explode and mist in his face. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I follow. Hopefully, making him incapacitated. Uh, roll me your magic. magic first, and then you're gonna roll me shoot after. I got a four. Add plus two to your shoot. So I got four for shoot. Okay, so yeah, you heat up the little vial. Hopefully, creating enough kinetic energy to shoot it forward. You sh it shoots forward, um, and lands it straight in the other cavalier's chest mm -hmm. you're kind of getting a good look and it looks like an older woman hmm. um who's writing but the vial breaks in her chest and splashes all over her right cool. including into her face yeah um there aren't any immediate effects right yet, that's fine but you got it like yeah. the shot landed she is looking at you and you're still on Asus Reina, right? Mm -hmm. 
her and her dragon are looking at you, and they're taking off towards you guys, and they're about at least matching Asus Reina's pace, mm-hmm. but you're getting a good look now. This dragon looks younger, smaller, uh-huh. um, a little bit, you know, still about Asus Reina's size, but a little smaller, right? Um, but younger, uh-huh. um, and less weight to, fl- uh, like, carry while she's flying. Yeah. Uh, so... She might be a little faster than Austin's train too. Okay. So, Frankie. I'm on the back of this, just like, ah! You guys are about, let's say, 70 feet out now from the wall. Um, Frankie, I know you have solutions to try and reach places. Yeah, that that's that's the goal is to try and use the chaos to try and sneak off and down into an opening. Okay. So, so you guys are right now are level um, height wise with the top of the wall, right? The okay. Parts, you know, mm-hmm. where people would be stationed. Mm-hmm. Um, there is an entrance, like a lower dock, that you could more easily reach if you wanted to say glide there. You know, mm-hmm. if you want to leave right now, or you could just wait for Austin's train to drop you off. Um, I'm gonna gauge. I'm gonna like ready up leaving to see okay. if shit goes like south. As soon as shit goes south, I'm hopping off. Okay. Um, do you have any? Do you want to try and like gauge the distance using any skills that you might have? Um, I have notice. Would that work? Nah, that's more like perception. Maybe I, if you had like an investigate esque skill, you know. I have investigate as a plus one. You could try and like gauge the distance to see if you could, you know, judge when to jump. Better. Yeah. You, you get me? Yeah. So if you want to roll that. Um, I got a two. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah, so you, you think you like get. Based off of how the wind's going, it's kind of hard to tell on Asus right now, but based on how, like, the wind is right now, you think you might know when to jump off, and it's probably in about 20 feet. Okay. So, now's not the time. Yeah, but, okay. You know, probably soon. Yeah. Devon. So, Devon, you were coming up or from the, like, ground island part of the, you know, the underground part of the island, um, up around to see the prison itself. Where are you going from there? Um, from what I remember, I was going to help, uh, Tandem, mm-hmm. uh, deliver the goodies to the prisoners. Yes. So I'm going to fly up and see if I could see anything, see the guy. All right. So do you want to, you're doing just a, like a general vibe check, how things are around you? Vibe yeah. Check? Yeah. All right. So I think you're in a uniquely good position to do this because everybody else has kind of shit to be dealing with right now. Um, so there are... Okay, first thing you notice, eight dragons all have riders that aren't you guys, right? So eight dragons that aren't you guys are somewhere within maybe like a mile perimeter of the prison, you know? Um, They are going in various different directions. Some are going to help the prisoners, or the prison, I should say, the guards at the prison, right? Some are going towards a boat that you immediately recognize as tandems, and... Some are going to approach the uh, one dragon in the sky. Ob- that isn't obviously you, right? Um, no, none of them seem to be paying you any mind, which might be because Siren's a little small comparatively, and you know you're not a huge target right now. But you do see Tandem ship. It's ro- it's coming to about like where it would be in order to drop the well to deliver the weapons. You know, you guys stored, so it's about above the prison, maybe 100 feet above the prison. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Tandem Ship. Okay. Because that's the plan, and knowing that there's dragons going towards it, he might need extra protection. So another good thing, kind of. You're not gonna get there first, but you can see all of the dragons going there. It looks like there are two that are heading directly towards the ship, which maybe Cavalier training kicks in. You're like, that is standard protocol. That's what <laughs> that is what they would do. Um, so there are two of them. They're fairly small dragons. Um, there are maybe a little smaller than Siren even, so pretty small, right? And they look like they're in attack mode, right? They're not there to talk. They are aggressive. They're feeling aggressive, we'll say. So you won't get the first, but you can go. You can sneak up behind one and tackle them, kind of like what that one dragon did to Austin Reina. That, that sounds like a good idea. Thank you, GM. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sneaky, I'm gonna, since no one's really paying attention to me, I'm gonna sneaky see if I can okay. get the jump. Cool. Um, yeah, then roll me a stealth, either yours or Siren's. Siren's the one with the stealth. Okay, that's a three. Okay. Um, you got a three? Yes. Okay. 
Um, Ty's go to you. So, yeah, no, the, the dragon you're sneaking up on, it's the one closest to you, we'll say. Um, it's just, like, grabbing onto the edge of Tandem's ship. Um, and its rider looks fairly young, you know, maybe like 25, 6, something like that. Just grab on a ship, and you can if you, you can do whatever you want. You can get there in time to attack it however you'd like, or you can shoot it. They haven't noticed you, so how you do this is up to you entirely right now. You have time to, like, think about it. I would like to try and um, stun the dragon. Okay. The lightning. Okay. Roll me a shoot. Magic. But it's a stunt. But can I do it not as a stunt to not get the plus two? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Word. Thank goodness. Uh, six. So that's a six? Yes. <laughs> you guys might have a tough time today. <laughs> this is my very tough one. Lord. But you, uh, you, you shoot the... Siren shoots their lightning at the dragon, and uh, you see, like, uh, the dragon and the rider, the, both their muscles, like, tense immediately. I'm in lock. Um, the dragon was gripping the edge, um, so it's kind of like a, like, you know, like a statue that's holding onto something, it's almost like that, right? The dragon's grip hasn't loosened, but they're not moving now, that's for sure. Um, in those few seconds, Hmm? Siren's a little beefier now. That's true. Can I just ram into the, the dragon that's stunned to get it off the ship? Yep. Yay! What do I do? Roll me a athletics or fight. Okay, that's a two. Okay. Oh, you guys are going to have a tough time today. Good so that Lord. was a two. Tater's yeah. Um, okay, so you ram in, and maybe you didn't realize... I'm an idiot. My athletics... <laughs> I, I forgot that I switched stuff around. My athletics is a plus five. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! So what was your roll? My, my roll, it was zero. Okay, so now it's you just got a five. Yeah. Okay. I... Uh, that still doesn't matter, actually. So, um... I have a question. Yeah. Can Staghorn come in with the assist? Because he's on the ship. Yeah, but Staghorn's about 100 feet away from this you, engagement. No, no, actually, no. They're at they're at the ship. Okay, um... If you use a fate point... If Jack uses a fate point, or if Adesali uses a fate point... <laughs> Well, cause I just I just want to give Tandlin like like uh, like a plus one or like a reroll. Like I don't want to do anything. I don't want Staghorn to do anything. I just more like it, you can. Well, you can give. Okay, if you give me a narrative reason to give Tandlin a fate point, I'll let you. Staghorn's defending the ship, and so with the dragon coming there, pretty much the Devon and Siren uh, are are trying to meet this dragon there, and Staghorn is trying to meet that dragon there. So they're pretty much sandwiching him. Okay. Um. Then yeah, you can get either a plus two or a reroll. He's doing his little his little turtle. <laughs> <laughs> as he runs, as he runs so <laughs> I'm gonna take the plus two. Okay, so with the plus two, um, you, <laughs> you, and Siren ram into this dragon, and it still doesn't move, but its body like contorts to the force suddenly applied to its side. Um, you hear wood breaking, and then you see that the it broke, like it was gripping it. You just broke part of tandem ship, just like the guardrail. Like you know, he's fine. It's fine. Um, one of us falls through that later. Uh oh. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. Um, and the dragon goes um, falling, like straight up. Unless you grab it, unless Siren's grappling it, it goes falling. No, it's gonna. I wanted it to fall. Okay, it's falling towards the prison. Let's see if it works out over this gun. Uh, does not. So yeah, it's falling towards the prison. Yeah, are you gonna watch it fall? Or are you gonna just keep moving? I'm just gonna keep moving. Don't okay. not gonna watch it. Okay. So then things are a little chaotic on Tandem Ship. They don't usually they aren't usually part of the action like this um, until like the end. So um Tandem's actually yelling orders. Jameson is helping some of the crewmen do stuff. Um everybody's kind of running around and then uh you Devon, maybe it's like a sixth sense. You look at these two um c- crew members, a guy and a girl, maybe 30 and 37 and you just like wait and then a dragon comes up over the side and grabs them both and just tosses them off. And I think everybody stops and, like, looks, because, again, they don't get... Like, they don't fight like this usually. Usually they're a little more prepared, so everybody stops, right? And then Tandem just pulls out a gun and shoots. Um, and the shot goes wide, but it kind of gets everybody to think, okay, now's not the time to stop, right? Um, so people start grabbing out their swords. Um, people grab guns. Um... Somebody comes over to you, Devon, 
just like maybe Jameson comes over to you with a couple of people and they're holding bags and they say, get these to the prisoners. He's just going to nod and just take them and go. Okay. Um, so yeah, you grab the guns and take off. Um, you go towards the prison. Oh, I'll be following Devon then. Okay, so so Titus, you're gonna join Devon. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, okay. Um, you want to grab some guns then? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys will say um, you have maybe five bags of guns between the two of you. Um, you vaguely remember there being something like ten, twelve, um, like big bags, right? Like it takes a couple people to hold one of these, but the dragons can do it a lot easier. So Devon, you turn. And Titus, you see this too, but Devon, you have more context. You turn and you go towards the prison and like, there's a little pocket of like, okay, so actually this is the first view you guys have gotten inside the prison. It's chaos. Like there are a bunch of prisoners like um, just going haywire, right? Um, Nobody seems to have weapons on the ground except for the guards, but all the prisoners are just like punching guards. Some of them are fighting each other. Like it's kind of a mess down there. Um, But there's like this little like hole in like the, the crowd and at the bottom is a dragon starting to like get up. It looks a little bruised. You might see like a broken bone or something like that sticking out of one of its like arms. Um, and then hanging off of it is an obviously unconscious, at least, dragon rider. Um, like his tether still in, but uh, he's not getting up at the moment. So we're gonna go to our Aselli. Yeah, and by extension, um, Frankie and uh, Asasarena. There's a dragon on your tail, um, and you guys maybe are kind of clocking, okay, there are at least another two coming towards us mm. in addition to this one. Oh. So things are looking a little rough. All right. Um, how close are we to the prison? Like, are we almost there? Have we gotten Frankie almost there? You're about 60 feet away. So we get there at this turn? Uh, at the end. Like, like in the idea? Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. How close are the incoming dragons and how close is the dragon behind us the incoming dragons are farther away they're like it's in order deal with this one first and then the other two are secondary i want to know how close they are okay so then because the prison is 60 feet away so they're within 60 feet um yeah but they weren't like coming from the prison they're coming from a like angles yeah and a a different angle Uh thank you they're further away this one would get to you first um i'd say those two are about Mm -hmm. 110 120. And the one behind you is that 40 feet. Cool. So uh, I kind of just like uh, I look at you and I'm like, she's going to get you there. Uh, and I'm going to unhook okay. and I'm going to take her. And I'm going to kick off and just like plume a flame behind me. Okay. So of course sort of create like a smoke screen so they can't see Reyna anymore. Roll me your magic. Yeah. They can't see you. <laughs> can't fucking see me. Actually, I want to create a full smoke plume. Like, I, I don't okay. want to release fire. I want to release smoke. Okay. Um, so they can't see me or Reyna. Okay. Um, I got a four again. Okay. You you managed to cover both you and Asus Reyna, but it's not going to last long for you. Like, Asus Reyna is going to have some cover for a minute. That's fine, because I'm jumping at them. Like, I wanna, <laughs> I'm jumping to their dragon. Okay. Uh, and so I'm just broad jumping straight over, and I want to land with just, like, you know, I tried to rocket punch Devon when I was going to fight Devon. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to just f- fire from behind my elbow just into a dead, like, chest punch to this. Uh... First, roll me athletics. Okay. To see, like, how close you can get to just socking this person in the face. Can you roll physique? Moment. That's what I usually roll when I do stuff like this? Fine. I mean, I can roll it, but if you'd no, rather... No, it's fine. I should have been harder on you guys from the get-go. It's okay. I got a one. Oh, Adam. <laughs> this might be it. You know what? It's not going to be it. This might be the time. It's not going to be it. Um... Do I get any bonuses because of the smokescreen? Because I, I did make a smokescreen, so I wasn't seen. What was your roll? It was four, right? It was a four. I'm you get a plus two. Woo! So three. Okay. Um, okay. Gotta play to your outs, boys. <laughs> so so I think both of them are a little surprised, the woman lesser than her dragon. Why is this psychopath jumping at us? Um, so you are not going to be able to straight punch her. Mm-hmm. You can grab onto the dragon, its saddle, its arm, and it won't, like... It's not going to bite you, you can tell, right? Just because it was so surprised by your move. Yeah. But you're not going to get to hit this woman yet. Uh-huh. So where do you want to grab onto? Um, On the dragon. Because that's the only... It's either the dragon or you try grabbing onto her, but I'll make you roll for that. As close to her as I can to be. Without rolling? Because you can grab her by rolling. No, 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 no. no. I want to grab onto the dragon okay, as okay. close to her as I can be. Like, for sure. Yeah, so like I like by its neck or like... Yeah, so, so you can... Yeah, you can grab onto its neck. You're close to its head, but you can grab onto its neck. Um, and the woman looks down at you, right? So you, okay, so 
Araceli jumps off of Vasus Reina, puts smoke behind him, covers Frankie as they're heading towards the prison. You cross maybe like 10 feet, but they're yeah, coming. Yeah, because they're to coming you. and I'm coming. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, you like just bear hug the dragon's neck and get jostled, right? Um, maybe you're used to it. Most people would be extremely like mm. distraught, but stressed out. And yeah. I was like, I do this often. <laughs> um, and the dragon looks surprised, makes a sound, roars in surprise, but the woman pulls out a gun and aims it at you. Uh, so I'm like, that was so fast, don't. <laughs> you say that? Uh, yeah, like, hey, can we, like, uh, so do we have to? I'm gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna see if, like, I can get, I know there's no outs, but... Roll me a report. On a cell, he's gonna try to get outs. Guys. Uh, my report is pretty bad. I got a zero. She says, you're the one who came to the prison, and ah. then shoots you in the shoulder. Or, okay, shoots towards your shoulder. I'm gonna blow the gun up in her hand. Okay, roll me. Uh, magic? Yeah, magic. Is it, is it a stunt? Have I, did I make that a stunt? Uh, when I did it mass, you made it a stunt, but as God, defense. I'm so nice to you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> I got a four. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the, uh, metal goes down, ignites the flint, um, and then the explosion, um, it just blows out of her hand. Um, like, the gun blows up and she lets go of it instantly. The gun pieces of it fall away. Yeah. Um, nobody's hurt by it, but she looks down at the, her hand that's, like, not charred, but it has smoke in it, uh-huh. right? Looks down at you. And goes, <laughs> and then grabs a knife from her side and, like, leans over to try and start stabbing him. Honestly, he starts to get flashbacks. It's like, yeah. hot. <laughs> and I'm just going to draw my sword out, and I'm assuming that's where we'll kind of... Okay. Yeah. One hand on around the neck, the other with a sword in your hand. Well, because am I on top of its neck, or, like... On its side. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, one hand around, one yeah. sword out, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, Frankie, you and Asa Serena, um, you can't see what's behind you. There's plume of smoke behind you so you have no idea but you do see two dragons um you will get to the prison first you can glide mm-hmm. there and give asus reina more time to maneuver because her in yeah. her mind right now she's getting you into prison yeah but she'll get there and then immediately like mm-hmm. two dragons right yeah you can glide there and give her some extra time to like recuperate before she has to you know mm-hmm. 2v1 but it's a risk right yeah like you know you're still having to glide there mm-hmm. so what do you want to do um, I think I'd want to give her the time because there's two of them. Yeah. And I haven't seen what Reyna can do, so yes. I'm assuming that, like, she needs the time. For sure. So I will do the gliding. Okay, so roll me your magic. skill. Yeah, your magic. Thank you. Jesus. A five. Okay, cool. So, yeah, easily. Like, like you hop off Asus Reyna. Do you say anything to her? You don't know if she's going to understand you. You're not a dragon rider, but... I just, like, pat her back and I'm like, go get him. Okay. Um, so you hop off, um... And open your wingsuit and glide. And um, do you want to... You can do either the wall, like the top of the wall, or the entrance to the prison, you know, the dock. You can do either one. Which would you prefer? Um, do the top. Okay. So, yeah, you get to the top of the wall. And there are guards here, but, again, they're kind of, like, dealing with the whole fire and the crumbling mm-hmm. parts of the wall and stuff like that. Some of them have started shooting into the crowd because mm-hmm. it's... I get you get to the wall and you hear the chaos before mm-hmm. you see it. Yeah. Um, nobody's paying much attention to you yet, but there are people within thirty feet of you. Let's say that probably will soon if you don't, you know, duck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My my plan is to land on the wall and immediately start like sneaking to find to get into the prison. Okay. So that's my goal right Roll now. Roll me a stealth. A seven. <laughs> You dude, you're so stealthy, it's crazy. I'm you like so you sneaky. La- if if anybody was watching you, you like land and then just plop out of existence. It's crazy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um She goes so, into the upside down. Yeah, exactly. So you so you duck, right? Like metaphorically. You 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 duck down, um, and there are there's a set of um stairs that go through the wall. You don't know what the state of the stair those stairs are, because again, things are pretty rough. Um uh, infrastructure-wise, or, you know, regarding the wall, structural, structurally. But that's the easiest way to get down. You could also try rappelling. You have some rope, you know? Um, no, I'll go down the, I'll go down the stairs. Okay, um, so yeah, you head towards the stairs, and they look mostly intact, so you can run down them, but you hear more fighting. Now, the walls of the prison also have cells in them, right? Like, mm-hmm. this is a very large prison, and the walls themselves are fairly large too at least 20 feet thick right because Mm. they're also just the building itself um so you you know there there's more writing throughout the halls right yeah but you like you start just running down the stairs and where do you want to go um 
Uh, so my plan is to just kind of run through, and anybody who looks like a prisoner or doesn't have a weapon, I'm dropping them off. Okay. Because I have um, a bag on me. Okay, so yeah, you'll, we'll say you have a smaller bag. So we'll say you can do that roughly five times total. Okay. To as many people, right? Yeah. Just five times. Yeah. Um, so you're going to start doing that? Yeah. I'm just kind of running through and going like, it's just pretty much just me going, it's a prison break, it's a prison break, and okay, just okay. running through. Okay, got it. So, um, can we can we roll lore to see if they know the tale of uh, Frankie the Fast? <laughs> uh, later. It, uh, I want to know if it reached the prisons yet. You know what? Okay, uh, one person can roll it. <laughs> well, I, I thought you would, like, like, the prisoners would roll it to see if they, if they're lore. <laughs> Frankie, do me a favor. Uh-huh. Um, just roll me flat. Okay, minus one. Um... They haven't. Damn. But, Frankie, um, you start dro- uh, dropping things. Um, roll me flat again five times. Oh, God. And while you do that, mm-hmm. we're going to switch over. Um, Devon and Titus and uh, Siren and Tempest. You guys are, want, like, so you have weapons. Um, do you want to drop the bags in the middle of the crowd? Because it's pretty obvious what they are once the bags, like, you know, unfurl it. Or not open. Yeah. I want to keep one, though. Okay. One bag. One of the bags? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, you just, like, you're dropping them in places where people won't get crushed to death, right, um, by all the guns. Um, but you drop them, and in those, like, the 10-foot, 20-foot square where you drop them, people kind of stop and, like, look in confusion, and then the bags, like, you know, sink down a bit, and it's fairly obvious that they're guns, and people, like, start pushing past each other to, like, grab stuff. Um... You hear more yelling, like, some cheers, some of the guards, like, being like, oh, God, like, this is awful. Um, but yeah, you are inciting a lot of violence, um, a lot of severe gun-driven violence among these prisoners. Right. Just how Titus likes it. So, you guys so you guys drop the guns, and you're like, man, this is kind of working. Um, and then you hear a scream coming from the sky, and it's a person... It is half a person oh. um, that's probably dropping from tandem ship, um, but you can't see much else. Um, oh, no. Devon's going to turn to Titus and be like, you good on your end? Yeah, I could get these to Vargish in a sec. Cool. And he's going to whip around and head back to tandem ship to support. Okay. Uh, Frankie, what'd you get on those rolls? All right, here we go. A minus three, a zero, a plus one, a plus three, and a plus one. Okay. 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 Came back around. I started off awful. Yeah, that was rough. I was like, Kim. Um, so so the those first two drop offs that you do, right? You're just throwing guns at people, right? Guards are also amongst, right? Like like I'm talking a lot about the prisoners because they definitely outweigh the guards, but there are a mm-hmm. lot of guards here, and they're fairly well trained because this is a major, like you know, tight prison. Um, some of them. They look a little more serious than maybe you expected, Frankie. Again, mm-hmm. like, your intel was, like, this is going to be tough, but you're seeing guys that are, like, the special forces that um, you guys met a couple um, sessions ago. Oh, um, yeah. You're, guys, you're seeing guys of that caliber. You're not sure if they are special forces, right? But, like, they're not, they're not just prison guards. So <laughs> when you they see you throw guns, they're, most of them are engaged in combat, mm-hmm. so they don't engage you. But they definitely like make note. Like you yeah. see them look like clock you, mm-hmm. and like the guns, and maybe you even see one kind of sneer at you mm-hmm. um, as she stabs just like a prisoner like through the chest. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, they're all engaged. You're not getting, you know, fought yet. Nobody's fighting you yet. Yeah, I'm just moving through. All right, for sure. Uh, Devon going up to tandem ship, right? Um, you hear more, like, gunfire, swords clashing. Really, it's sword clashing against scale. Um, and you get up, and maybe it's a little, like, again, harrowing. Um, there are less people on tandem ship now. Like, like it's not mm. like he's sh- without a crew, but tandem doesn't get a lot of casualties with you guys usually. Um, but And you, like, it is noticeable that people are not going to be coming back. Does that make sense? The crowd's a little thinner than it used to be. People you've, you are not seeing faces you've partied with, like had drinks with, slept like alongside, known for months now. But Tandem and Jameson, like the two, you, maybe it's like, okay, they're still here, right? Like they're they're not gone. The named NPCs are still around, guys. This guy. 
So, and, and they're, like, a lot of the people, like, a lot of people are still dealing with, like, the whole guns, getting the bags, like, onto the top of the ship while others are fighting the dragon. The ones fighting the dragon are holding it off, but, like, they're not trained for this. Most people aren't. Like, Tandem's good at what he does, but they don't, I don't think he ever practiced with Tempest. You know what I mean? They don't have dragon fighting tactics, so. Devon's gonna, like, lean down to Siren, who's so gross looking now, but it's fine. He's gonna lean down and be like... I know we don't usually do this, but, but, uh, let's fuck shit up. <laughs> and, um, he's gonna go straight to the dragon and start a dragon on dragon fight, which, okay. like, face to face isn't something he really does. Do you want to just immediately start fighting, or do you want to get his attention first? Um, I'm gonna catch him off guard. I'm okay. just gonna go blazing. Oh, full guns blazing. How are you gonna attack? Um, can I. Can I try and do the lightning stun again and then fucking ram into him again? You'll risk hitting people around like some Tandem's crews if you do. Okay. But you can. If, if you roll high enough, you won't hit any of the crew. But it's a risk. What if I use a fate point? Then you have no worries of hitting Tandem's crew. <laughs> I'm going to use a fate point. Okay. Actually, question. Um, so the new grapple technique, you said I have one free fate point to use for that technique specifically. <laughs> Okay, that's per, on you. Per session, you said? <laughs> yeah, you said? yeah, that's fine. So can I actually... Per session? I, I did. did. I wrote it down. I did. That's what I wrote down. I did. And There's no I way. I, no, you're right, It, like, resets Tamlin. with my... No, no, I'm sure you're right, Tanlin. I'm just like, dude, past tenor's an idiot. That guy's stupid. Oh, shit, because that's so on you. That's so Yeah, funny. no, 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 it is. Like I, like I said, yeah. he's a moron. Because, like, it was the... I got stupid. The ram that was risking... And ugly. What? It Was was it the ram that was risking um, hitting people or the lightning strike that was risking? risking? <laughs> the lightning strike. Oh, well, then it's different. So, technically, technically, it's not the grapple, so I can't. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You have to use a fate point. Fate okay. point. Okay, like okay. a real fate point. Okay, not, okay, not okay. one of Tanner's fake fate points okay. that he gives out to people. Shit. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll use a regular fate play, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna roll the lightning strike first. Ooh. Guys. Ooh, that's a, it's a two. Um, okay. So, yeah, you, maybe it, like, it's strike, it, you hit, right? Like, but, um, the, and the dragon's muscles don't lock up. Maybe his rider gets a little bit of, right? But a little bit of, yeah. But uh, the dragon, um, resists. Um, and looks at you, right? Like, immediately, like, just locks onto you and hey, siren. I have a question. Yo. Okay, Staghorn support? <laughs> um, yeah. Because Staghorn, because Staghorn is, uh, has heavy constitution, so he could just, boom, and so that way he'll take the lightning bolt, too, but it'll slow the other dragon down from defending itself. Um, nah. Well, can he, cool, because he's on the ship. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. But I, I also I don't, don't want to play a second dragon, so I'm just like, can he support? <laughs> like, how can he roll help? Me, roll me, do me a favor, roll me Staghorn's fight. Zero. Um, yeah, like, I think Staghorn, maybe Staghorn's the reason everybody on the ship isn't dead yet. Maybe <laughs> Staghorn flies up from over being thrown over the ship by mm -hmm. the other dragon or something mm -hmm. like that, right? And, um... Tack, like tries like tackling or like you know checking the other dragon to throw it off balance to help uh, Siren's blast, but the dragon resists like pushes him off, resists the blast. Um, now it's a two v one kind of. What does this dragon look like? Small like Siren, but a little bigger actually. I mean small. Siren's gotten bigger, but relative to other dragons, right? Um, vaguely like serpentine like like if siren's an eel this one's more snake like or you know um but with the head of a like western like typical like australian esque yeah, dragon you know sure. it has arms and legs um that are really beefy but small like a bulldog's kind of um again almost like siren um yeah dope i think uh um Stagcorn just misses jack um, Devon? yeah siren is already full steam ahead to just fucking body slam this fucking dragon. I right, roll me fight oh. or athletics. <laughs> <laughs> I have to roll for it. <laughs> no, no, I was saying, oh, cause like last time you let me use athletics. You can use athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, athletics. I know, yeah. but that's why I was like, ah, oh, cause fight, are you serious? We're gonna die this mission. It's a four. Oh, that's good. That's, oh, cause I let you, yeah, right. Oh, uh, you roll minus one? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Tam.
Hello, hello, and welcome back to the middle of the episode. This week, our ad actually comes from us, 5GMs. If you're already following us on our socials, you'll already know, but we're dropping our next mini series on Wednesday. We'll be doing 5GMs Presents Prehistoric Panic, and we have an all star crew for you. The game will be GM'd by GM Adam. The cast includes GM Jesse, myself, GM Kim, Ivy, aka Game Raider Girl, and Keisha from the Real Scrolls film team. We're going to be playing Escape from Dino Island by Sam Roberts and Sam Tung, a very fun Powered by the Apocalypse game. So, are you ready? Be sure to be following us on our social medias at 5 Gems in a Trenchcoat on Instagram and TikTok and at 5 Gems Official on Twitter and Blue Sky. And you can also check out our website, 5 Gems in a Trenchcoat.com. Come join us on Isla Morta, anywhere you get your podcasts. And now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Uh, no, you roll a four, ties go to you. Um, so, you, you, body slam the dragon, um, and... <laughs> Fucking rider. <laughs> uh, you body slam the dragon, um, and you hear, like, uh, not bones breaking, but you hear, like, rattling, right? Um, and the rider is thrown off, like, or starts to, but his latch catches, right? Um. Where's Devon? Can Devon slash it? Uh, if you want to reach over with a sword or try to shoot it, you can. Shooting it'll be a lot harder, but you won't need to reach over and put yourself in danger. Um, no, continue. Okay. Um, the dragon, and then the dragon kind of, like, you check it, dragon goes a couple feet, and then re, like, catches itself, looks at you. Titus. No. Um, prison break. Things are crazy. Maybe you've been a part of one of these before. Maybe yeah. a couple. Who's to say? Um, you're looking for Vargesh, I, and you have a vague idea of where she might be, but the easiest way to find her is to look for the giant guy and that's, you know, blowing shit up. Or you could try and find maybe their records, because the prison has to have an office with records of all the prisoners and look through it that way. Titus can't read good. Oh, man. <laughs> you can try and find the records of the prisoners, or you can try finding her the old-fashioned way, but either one's going to take time. Uh, what about just holding up a prison a prison guard? You could try it. That's Hey, man, you know, Titus, Tanner, do, Tanner think no good like you. Yeah, yeah, look, Titus, Titus just tries to find the, the easiest way to two points. Yeah, hey, man, so, I hear that. So can I just, yeah. like, scoop down and have uh, Tempest just grab a guard? Yeah, you get, like, if you want to grab any guard, you don't even have to roll for it. Like, that's going to oh. be really easy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to grab a guard. Okay, so, yeah, it's this um, middle-aged guy, maybe 40. Um, you grab him by, Tempest grabs him by his shoulders. With a uh, scruff. Yeah, and just goes, ah, 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 uh, and you lift him up. Um, what do you do? I'm going to be like, point out where Vargash is. Um, who are you talking about? Uh. She's a big woman. Where's the big woman? Buddy, I don't... Oh, You could find that sort of thing somewhere else. Why'd you come to a prison for it? No, 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 no. She's a prisoner. Titus is blushing. Like, um... You there, girls? <laughs> there, are, there are so many... There are so many... There are so many big women here. I don't know where any of them could be. I'm... I'm... I have a family... Please don't, please, please don't hurt me. I have a family. Well, then you better start thinking about a name Vargas. Oh, God. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 This is crazy, dude. What color is my underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, so, Titus, um, he's... Okay. Okay. And roll, roll me a, a notice. <laughs> How high up did you guys go? Zero. No, how high up feet wise? Oh, I don't know. Just let's say uh, 20 feet up. Not right. that. That's super high, but definitely enough. He's got to break his legs if he falls. Um, okay. He, um, Tempest yeah. had him by his like jacket, right? Mm -hmm. Um, all of a sudden, Tempest goes and like, like the, the weight shifts slightly. Um, and then you just hear, ha, ah! Uh, if you look down, uh -huh. um, he's fallen into the crowd, and, uh, his foot is twisted a very incorrect way. Oh, no. Um, and he's also getting trampled. Oh, well. 
Ugh. On to the next one. I'm gonna look around. Is there like an officer? Is there someone who seems like important? Roll me a notice. Oh god. <laughs> got a two. Okay. You know, there are a couple of guys who are like wearing nice pauldrons who have some badges, like a badge or two on their uniforms. You can grab them. They look like they might be Okay, important. I'll grab I'll grab them. Both of them or just one? Uh, yeah, let's just go for both. I feel like. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll me roll me two rapports. Got a five on the first one. Okay. Oh, and another five. I got two fives. It's crazy. Neither of them know who you're talking about either. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna grab a. I'm just gonna drop him. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a prisoner this time. Okay. 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 I, I like where your head's at. Yeah. Um. So you pick up this prisoner. Um. And she says, "Get off of me! Stop!" And like is patting like Tempest, but Tempest is a dragon and she's yeah. a human. So. Yeah. I'm mean, like, do you know where Vargish is? What? And then like she kind of stops. Says, "What? Vargish? I'm looking for Vargish." Um. It's quiet, because you can't see her, right? Like, Tempest is holding her, like, because you're <laughs> shouting at each other. Um, and she says, hold on. And then she starts looking around. Um, maybe a couple seconds pass by. Um, and it's um, it's maybe quiet to you, just because you're having to wait like this. It's, it's very loud, but mm-hmm. there's almost like a quiet as you wait. And she points towards one corner of the prison where there are so many guards. Oh, God. <laughs> And so a lot of guards, um, she says, in that section of the wall, um, and it's like a corner where two ends like of the wall meet, um, there's a corner that she's pointing directly to. Her cell should be over there. Um, there are prisoners fighting them, but they're not outnumbered by the guards, but probably outmatched. Over. Oh, okay. All right, thanks, buddy, and I'll gently place her down. Okay. Um, she says, good luck. Oh, I'll need it. Um, Araceli. Hey. Um, you are engaged in combat yeah. without, do you want to hook into something? I, I mean, you, you could try. We're getting there. Okay. Uh, you're engaged in combat. Uh, uh, it's your turn. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so I kind of, I'm going to look at her. How old does she look? Never ask a lady for age. I didn't ask. I want to know. I, I'm gauging it by looking. Almost as bad. Uh, <laughs> maybe late fifties, early sixties. Um, so... Young dragon for being that old. Uh, so like, what happened to your first dragon? Well, and I was thinking like we're like like clashing yeah. blades. <laughs> roll me, roll me a report. Two. Um, she said she straight faced. She's wearing like mostly a helmet. You can see her mouth. I'm smiling. Okay. I'm having a good time. Adesanya's having a good time. And she says, "This is my first dragon." And huh. Yeah, it's, that's you talking his reaction. So it's still your turn. Yeah, like oh okay. Um, how loyal is he? And then I'm gonna burn up her uh, her castle. Her, 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 yeah, uh, the thing that holds her in. Yeah, her latch. And then I'm gonna poof, and fire and throw us both out. Okay. Um, roaming magic twice. Um, five and six. God damn. Um, yeah, so you grab on and it's instantly just, like yeah. it's gone. Like My ash. Is so hot. Yeah, like, like yeah. just ash, right? Like you could like pass through it like water. It's gone, right? Um, and then you just fire everywhere. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna like grab her chest and then just like let fire off of like me in every direction to yank us both off. Okay. Um. So yeah, you just like explode and like mm. fire basically, and both you do get sent off. Are you trying to hold on to her still? Uh. Yeah. Well. Yes. I want to like push off and drag us both directly down. Right. Right. But what what I mean is once you get off, like mm-hmm. you both get off, uh-huh. like I'll level. Right, you both fall off. Are you holding under midair, or do you let go? I'm gonna let go and kick away. Okay. Uh, okay. Are uh, you trying to figure out what I'm doing? Yeah, but it's not worth it. It never <laughs> is. Um, yeah, so, so you do that. Like, you kick off, and she is surprised. She tries to, like, regain her composure midair, but, like, m- dragon riders are trained for this sort of thing when they fall off their dragon, but uh, she didn't expect all of this, right? And she has a lot of momentum and going yeah. in different directions. She's flying away from you now. Uh-huh. You're going in the opposite direction from because you kicked off. Uh-huh. Um, and the it you it's hard to see what a dragon's doing right now for you. So what do you do? So that was my big goal. I want to be able to see what her dragon is doing. Okay, so if you try to look, um, you have to focus for a minute. You, you know, like falling now. Um, I'm use a little fire to try to orient myself. Yeah, her dragon is going for her. Roll me flat. Oh, plus this. <laughs> Take a picture of that. I'm going to hold on, hold on, hold on. Araceli's back, baby! Araceli, baby! 
No, it's because I had to do something stupid. So anyways, Tanner. So, you're watching her dragon. It's going towards her. Um, you, She shouts something you don't hear. The dragon roars back um, and then um, grabs her, but not like Aris as this random grabs you. Um, grabs her like you would grab like a staff, right? Uh -huh. um, and then throws her. Um, and then oh. screams and um, starts breathing fire and it's going towards the prison. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. I would uh, punch a wall. Cause as, so as it started, as it tilted towards her, uh -huh. I want to call Reyna to dive bomb it. You still want to do that? It's under Reyna? Because that was my big goal. I pushed oh, us off to get Reyna above us. Um, you guys aren't that close yet because you guys were changing directions. Um, I'm sorry for not being clear about that. That's okay. what I mean. Um, but... Well, because I, I thought we were like 20 feet away from the prison where Reyna was. So so you guys are closer to the prison. Um, it's just a matter of us, where Austrian is right now because remember, her and Frank kind of... Frankie did some stuff. Austrian is kind of been dealing with some stuff, but you're lucky. It's because... Call us as Reyna. Yeah, uh, I would like to use a stunt and call Reyna to dive bomb this dragon. Um, you need to use stunt. Just roll Dragon Rider. I got a four. Um, yeah, so you're going to want to dive bomb it. Okay, so all that happens, right? Like, it throws her. She starts screaming. I'm looking at her. Like... Yeah. The dragon, uh, is still going towards the prison. And then you hear a loud roar above. And then also Serena, like, um, reverse banes where she like goes at its <laughs> spine like with her claws so yeah so the way i would like to do, so i i like yell reina and then i think i'm gonna just create a flame right above the dragon's back like a beacon <laughs> just blinking roll me a fight uh i got a five um so yeah like also Serena, um her claws like, immediately like um if you can imagine a dragon right the shape of a dragon it's vaguely like an oval right mm -hmm. like um uh, horizontally, right? Or vertically, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so she, her claws, like, she goes towards its spine and her claws just dig in and you see flesh rend um, from the side, um, from the dragon's side, right? So, you, like, open wounds, like, like clearly open, like, multiple inch wide wounds, right, at side, and you hear a cracking sound and the dragon roars in pain. Um, but it, like, reaches up towards Reyna uh -huh. and is gonna fight back. Roll me... Can, can I use a uh, fate point to just do two extra damage to it? No. <laughs> fate points can't be used on damage. Adam! Uh, they can be... They add plus two to the fight, so I could have just added it to the fight, right? Oh my god, that is how fate works. <laughs> <laughs> and just added it to her five to make it a seven. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him no. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's quick. It's not... It's just, like, she just hits it and it, and it starts falling. Okay. Um, yeah. So maybe maybe it turns from like instead of like a crack, it's like a break, and like you're watching, and there's no response. Like like it's not a roar anymore. Like it just uh, maybe a croaking sound. Mm -hmm. Remember when that dragon was like scary? Remember when we were all worried about it? I can't. Yeah. Believe what I happened? What did, I, did I say one d eight? You're such an asshole. On my count right now, there's not a single dead dragon except for the one I just killed. Uh, one fell and is injured. No dead dragons. Actually, that's a good point. Technically, Adam is right. I'm going to kill all these fucking dragons. Ostrena, knowing she's taking care of business, <laughs> um, comes and picks you up, um, and you climb back on. You've done this a thousand times by now. Uh -huh. um, Frankie, um, yes. your bag is out mm -hmm. of guns, yeah. um, so you can drop the bag. Yeah, I'm going to just drop the bag. Um, you're you're in the hall, but you get to like a window, right? It's like bars through the mm -hmm. concrete, um, and you can see uh, like people are. You hear gunshots, like many more than you did before. So mm -hmm. they're people are doing their jobs, right? Yeah. Um, none of you can communicate with each other, right? No. But so everything you're having to like do vibe checks. Yeah, incredible vibe checks. Yeah. Hold on, let me feel the vibe. Let me feel the vibe. Um, people are doing their jobs. Um, you hear dragons outside, but that's not your problem. <laughs> it's not. Um. You do see Titus and Tempest going in the diagonal opposite direction from you. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From where you are right now. Mm -hmm. Towards the other corner of the prison. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it would take you 10 minutes to run there. Based on how crowded things are right now mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, and that's if you're keeping, like, good pace, you know? Yeah. Um, so you... 
but it's up to you what you do. Yeah, I was like, could I find a point or just get up so I can fly that way? You could probably get about, ha unless oh, you have magic, you might be able to cross the whole distance. It would just be hard. And the thing is, if you fail, you're in the middle of the riot. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you're not getting there for a while, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, you can try. All right, I'm going to. Okay. So you can find some stairs to get up. Yeah. Um, things are kind of wild. Mm -hmm. um, fi the fires are dying down a bit, finally. Um, but the wall is even more crumbled than it was before. Um, people are still shooting down, but some of them are running down to engage in the fight, like, on the ground. There are a lot of dead people, but there are so many more alive people fighting. Um Roll me, if you want to glide, roll me magic twice. Okay. Mm, the first one's a four. Okay. Second one's a five. Okay. Yeah, you you hop off, and the wind carries you immediately. You, uh, you're you half, you're about halfway, so you, you start flying, like, or gliding, and it's fast, right? You've done this a thousand times before. Um, you're about halfway through when you hear a gunshot kind of pierce through the, like, veil of noise, right? Um, but you just keep going, you don't feel anything <laughs> on you. <laughs> I saw the roll and it fucking killed me. It was just two negatives. I saw him go. Hurt. <laughs> um. Yeah, you don't feel anything. You don't hear any rips in your wingsuit or your clothes. All good. All right. Um. Devon, you're engaged with this dragon. You've done some damage to this thing, um, but it's still up. It's your turn though. Yeah, so that free, free, special little free, you know, free little thing that, that past Tanner gave me. Uh-huh. I'm going to use it. Um, and it's, what is it? It's a plus three athletics to grapple this thing with my boy's second jaw. Okay, roll me athletics. Okay, so my athletics is a, is a plus five, right? So yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. You, you grapple it, obviously. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, there, it could not roll high enough for you to not grapple it. So. <laughs> if you want to do damage to it right now, you have to roll fight. But you get a plus four to the roll. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> Siren's, like, eel second jaw, like, fucking extends oh. from his mouth oh. um, around this dragon's neck, and he's going to go for a snap, baby. Ooh, g gosh. <laughs> What's Siren's fight? Uh, Siren's fight is a plus two. Plus four, so that's six. Six minus three is three. Yeah, so so you like you and Siren are grappled, or Siren's grappled with this dragon, right? Um, and its sh neck shoots out, but then the the dragon like slither, like its neck snakes away, like it like slithers like out of Siren's reach, and you're still grappled with it, right? Um. But the snake kind of rears around and, like, goes to bite Siren's, the back of his neck, in return. Roll me a physique. Uh-oh. This is so unlike Devon going for dragons. Um, uh, that's a four. Okay. So the dragon goes for Siren's neck, and um, the extra muscle and, um, like, scales, like, harder scales, uh, bite, the dragon bites down Siren. Um, it doesn't manage to get, like, sink its teeth really into Siren. Um... Now it's your turn. Okay. Can can Devon um, get to the, the the rider? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So Devon's going <laughs> to unlatch himself, go to the rider, unlatch the rider, <laughs> try and, like, fucking throw him off. Roll me athletics twice. Okay. Such a baller move. I love it. it. Devon is going through something. I love it. Okay. Hey, man, it's either this dragon and the rider or Tandem's entire crew. Yeah. You said athletics? Yep. Fuck. That's a one. So you unlatch their latch, uh -huh. and then roll again. Okay. You gotta cover your dice, dog. Yeah, just lie. <laughs> it's a one again. <laughs> it's hard. It's uh -huh. difficult. But you, put, like, you sh you don't throw. You don't like lift him and throw him. You like shove him off. But grabs you, pulls you off. Like you, you, it, you're both going to the floor together. Siren and the dragon are still engaged, right? Because Siren's like, oh, Dad's gonna go do this, I guess. And also, he's like a stubborn teenager right now, so. It's true. So, is there, go, can I do? Can I do? Actually, anything? it's his turn. 
Okay. Now you guys are gonna be taking you're gonna be taking your turn separately from your dragon. Yeah. So Tanlin, um, gonna pull a knife and go for you. Roll me a athletics to dodge. Damn, that's a that's a one. Okay. Um, mark off your first two boxes of physical stress. Oh, shit. Uh. So yeah, uh, the he whips out a dagger and um, gets you in like the side, like cuts you in the side, and it stings. Um, Again, it's been a little while since you've been engaged in, like, fighting like this. Usually it's ranged, you know? Um, so it may, it's like a fresh, like, oh, that's a pain I haven't felt in a long time. Um, Feels good. His dragon's going to go now. Roll me Siren's um, athletics. Uh, four. Um, so Siren, like, um, they're still grappled. Uh, the dragon goes um, to breathe um, some sort of breath weapon, but Siren um, reaches up and grabs its like mouth and is holding it like shut it's your guys turn now is it like a crocodile where like it it doesn't have as much uh force to open its mouth than it does to to bite down who's to uh uh, devon would know no it's not i was like devon would actually know no it's not (laughs) Um, okay it's my turn yes devon or siren devon okay or uh, siren actually it's siren's turn word word um siren's grappling this thing still right yeah can he just can he lightning from this range, like, because it comes out of his mouth. Yeah, no, he can. Okay, cool. You can do a breath weapon at any range. It doesn't matter. Cool. What I'm, what I'm asking for is, does it do anything extra? It. You guys are so close to it. Okay. But Siren's a little rebellious right now. He is. So I'm going to invoke that aspect, because that is yeah. the aspect you have, yeah, right? Yeah, I wrote it down. He's going through puberty, so he's defiant. Yep. Um, he, I'm going to, you can have a spend a fate point to not do it, or he can gain a fate point, and he totally does it. But if you roll lower than a three, then you guys are going to be caught in the blast, both of you. It'll hurt Siren? No, 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 no. Oh, you, oh, Devon me and, and the, the guy. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's Easy. nothing. That's nothing, that's nothing, it's fine. What am I, what am I rolling, just as magic? Um, yeah. Exactly a three? Yeah, so I said less than three. So yeah, um, it does, nothing happens to you guys, but to Good the Lord. snake dragon dude. So the snake, uh, like, Siren has its mouth, right? It pulls out um, and, like, twists its neck around uh, the shot. So the shot goes wide and shoots, like, through, like, out into the sky, right? Um, It's now your turn, Devon. So I was looking at his sheet. Okay, so he has a dagger. And then I have two vials, two vials of the toxin from... The little guy. What's his name? Staghorn? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, you can go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is that? Just like a... Roll me a fight. Okay. It's a zero flat. Okay. Um. Yeah, so you whip out the that dagger specifically, um, and you guys are like... And you guys are basically grapple on the floor too, right? You're like tussling around and stuff like that. Um, you go and you stab into Tandem's deck, right? Uh, so the poison's not gone, right? Like, the blade's covered in it. But um, you don't hit him with it. So the poison can't do anything because you don't actually strike the guy. Um, it's his turn to retaliate. It's still on the blade, though, right? Yeah. Roll me in athletics. God, it's a fucking one again. <laughs> it's the dragon's turn. Um, <laughs> you <guys are> There's <laughs> <laughs> two old people fighting right now. <laughs> Like, what age is this guy that I'm fighting? Uh, 40, no. 42. Okay, so, so Devon's age, <laughs> we're just two old heads fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Devon, roll me Siren's athletics. A three? The the dragon goes to wrap its neck around Siren's neck, if that makes sense. Um, and Siren uh, grabs it and, like, is holding it from choking him. Titus. Oh. Um, you're flying towards that corner where Vargash, you were told Vargash is. Um, and then you're, you're maybe 60 feet out. And this, you see out of like your periphery, a uh, cavalier come to intercept you and kind of like stop in front of you, right? Um, they don't tackle you, but they're stopped. And then <laughs> it's a younger woman, maybe like, she's really young, like 20. Um, she's, you can see her smiling at you. She's maybe mm-hmm. 10, 15, 20 feet away. All right, time to lay down the moves then. <laughs> the um, the <laughs> Titus Riz. Unbuttons your the shirt. Titus Riz, dude. She smiles and then she like does a circular motion with her finger and to, to you. 
Okay. Um, and she's smiling. Do you do anything? I'm gonna give her a thumbs up. Okay, so Titus, uh, you look at her, she's doing this, um, and then all of a sudden you feel, like, a ton of weight get shoved, like, from behind. You and Titus both get shoved. (laughs) Um, that's where we're gonna end it for today. Wow. Uh, thank you everybody for listening to the podcast. We'll be back with our episode. Um, yeah, we wanna play our stuff. Uh, yeah, um, so if you like what we're doing here uh, and you want to like support and just really enjoy us, uh, go ahead and share us with people, um, like, comment, all yeah. that stuff. Uh, all we that also, good stuff. Yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to follow us, uh, you can follow us on uh, at Five Gems in a Trench Coat on Instagram and TikTok, and at Five Gems Official on Twitter and Blue Sky. And we have a Discord. You should come join us and hang out. Yeah. We're gonna post like pretty much stuff from recording days you can come talk to us if you have questions you can come ask them you can just just generally hang out there's good vibes in the trench coat i promise it's true it's true uh, also we have a ko-fi if you really like what we're doing you want to give us a little support and give us you know boost our energy on on low energy days we'd love that we love it yeah drinks. we also have a new goal on our ko-fi um we are looking to upgrade our equipment um we would like it gratefully if you could contribute any sort of way we would love it and we Thank you. Give you a little kiss on the face for for doing that. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Don't forget, grandmas love us. Uh, grandmas grandma. do love us. And uh, yeah, that's all. Oh, me. Hi. Hey, guys. It's Tanlin. <laughs> <laughs> that was like yeah. that was like this, yeah. like 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 as yeah. close as to like a kiss <laughs> you could probably get at, on an audio platform. Hey. Um, you up? I, um, you know, I do a little art, gremlin frog art, two frogs in the middle of there. Two frogs? Oh, two frogs? Did I say two frogs? <laughs> gremlin frog art, two T's in the middle. <laughs> two T's, two G's. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut it all out, it's good. We're the editors. Anyways, hey guys, gremlin frog art, two G's in the middle, Instagram and Twitter, check me out. Uh, also, all of us except for Jesse, including our new sound person, Emily, uh, all work on Adamant's Armory. So if you really like really cool stuff, uh, like designed items and all that for 5e, come check it out. We do items, subclasses, the works. And then Tanner, I believe you work on something cool? I do a webcomic. It's called Wisteria Falls. You can find it at Wisteria Falls on Instagram and search Wisteria Falls on Webtoon. Um, it's a little comic about this small town and these people who live in it. Come read it. Thank you. Ooh, bye. Bye. I hate you, Adam. Hello, hello. Thank you for listening to Five Gems in a Trench Coat. Be sure to follow us on social media at Five Gems in a Trench Coat on Instagram and TikTok, and at Five Gems Official on Twitter and Blue Sky. You can also join our Discord. You can find out how to join on any of our social media accounts or on our website, Five Gems in a Trench Coat.com. If you like the episode, please rate us five stars and leave a little comment. And if you'd like to support us further, you can leave us a little tip on our Ko-Fi at ko-fi.com slash 5 Thanks, and catch you in the next episode.